everyone, welcome to Counterside. And today, I'm sure you're going to be grinding away um, all the tasks for Counterside. And for me today, I haven't started playing yet, so might as well um, show you guys my routine, um, how I do things, how I start out things in terms of Counterside. Again, if you're a beginner, it's very overwhelming in terms of what to do first, what to prioritize first. So let let's get this video started so this is going to be logging in to my account so as you as you enter the game um in the morning probably uh after you've waken up so more or less most of you guys have the same routine as me as once once i wake up i actually open my phone and uh play the game so um more or less what I think about as I open this game is two things. First is passive tasks. So the passive tasks that I have um, to start off my day is more or less was set the night before. So one of them is in the world map. So before you, 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 you go to sleep at night and uh, when you wake up in the morning, you more or less have scheduled tasks already, which is usually eight hours. So that is why you are more or less uh, 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 obliged to start also your world map because you have to collect the rewards and you actually have to schedule again some missions passively because these are these are you know um, these are extras that you don't have to do anything. You just have to schedule them. So first start during the day would be to schedule word ta uh, world tasks so more or less just uh, choosing a task so you have to check actually what time is it then you for example you just uh, go with four hours resupply task then let's go so next is all about clearing or receiving the rewards that uh, you did for this passive task for world map and uh, let's see Let's do again four hours for this one. Let's use the bottom team that I have. And uh, the last one that I have here is going to give me rewards as well. So let us do another four hours by using team number four. So as you have set your teams already for, for the branches that you have, this one, you can actually, um, for the raid, you can actually uh, do this now um, while you're here before you move on to the next or you can do this later. So I'll do this later because I have another task that I set last night, which is actually um, going to be your gear. So it's in the workshop and crafting facility. So again, last night I was able to set this and uh, once you start the next day, this is actually the first thing that you also get. So you get this one, get the gear, get the gear here, and on the next one. So more or less opening, opening these actually are up to you if you want to spend the quartz. So I just opened three because usually you, when you craft, um, you have usually accessory, armor and weapons so those are the three categories so i'll push through with just only one because i only have have one t4 here so craft one then max it out for for the remaining part of the day then craft um let's just add so that i won't have to to clean up my inventory for now so more or less, those are the two passive tasks that you have to set at the start and also at the end of your day. So more or less, uh, playing this game is actually like uh, scheduling your day. So next would be um, what I would suggest is um, if you're not, if you don't want to be confused, try to set your your task based on area. Like for example. This part, this this triangle, uh, sorry, this uh, this pyramid or triangle, um, or this I would have to start with partner. So you have some partner um, reminders already with the red dots. So 
um, if you have partners that you want to take out and replace then you can replace then add if you are full you can actually do that later but more or less um, these are partner tasks that you can check on then next would be consortium your, your consortium is actually um, has a check-in so you have to check in at least once a day so and also there are weekly missions and the uh, things to do here so co just complete this then next number three would be check checking your mail so more or less your mail is going to be this is your inbox okay so anyway checking your inbox just get the things that you need for for the for the day rewards more or less usually eternium i just leave behind so that i could use them um, when i need them to not to overcrowd my eternium up here so next would be also to check your storage so if you have items that you need to accept or you need to use you actually just use it here then next would be your recruit so normally right now for for the what you call this for the southeast asian um, events we actually have some free recruits here you actually have two so recruit on demand is one just have to recruit one then just have to see who you got this is actually going to be to be a couple of more days so I, I don't expect much with the single pull but more or less for this banner which is actually I think 11 days left if you can see on the lower right hand side so let's have a 10 pull for this one so this is usually what I do um, try to round out uh, more or less on on the left on, on the right side Let's see if we have something of value. Violet, then probably lightning. So it's Elizabeth with, which actually I need um, additional copy of her, which is actually very good. So by the way, I'm happy with this full. Very very happy. Um, at least I got two copies of her already, and there you go. So lucky pull for the free recruit ten times. Next would be, you have to go out to the lobby. Next would be, go to your HQ. Check whatever you need to, 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 for example, heroes, you need to level up, implant skill, limit break, workshop, you need, if you need to craft or you need to tune gear. Again, service, uh, again, these are maintenance areas in which you need to do before you play the game. And for those who want you want to promote, you actually need to be here in the CEO's office. Then once you go out again, you will go to squad. Then more or less try to configure your squad, um, who you're going to level up, who you're going to be uh, part of your squad one, two, and three, just to complete missions. And next would be once we're done with this one the triangle so more or less we're done so collection and management is just an inventory of all your heroes units and mechs and soldiers so once you're done with this portion you actually have to go to the left side so again i'm just being systematic with the uh, with the uh, handling tasks so that you won't miss a thing so even if you have seen these red dots in which you have to click I still do my routine so that I could more or less knock out or checklist um, one part to another. Next would be the banners down here. So these banners are actually um, some events. So this one is for the new event for Crossroads. We'll just have to collect the rewards here. Um, then the grind will be later. And also here, just have to get some rewards actually I forgot to get my rewards this morning so the morning funds I did get because I played the game already in the afternoon so I can't get this one uh, as an additional support so I missed this sorry for me 
so I'll just uh, get those tomorrow completely then we'll have to check out the shop if normally for the shop you just have to get um, good deals especially in the shop list here so don't go uh, the season shop I'm still waiting for this to end so it's, it resets in two days um, th this actually has a lot of good items as well but I'm reserving it for the next reset but usually I would check out the shop in terms of the exchange center so it is here so it is here where you check out um, good deals every day so this refreshes daily so what good deals that you could get so normally I would go for good deals with with uh, with gold because gold is actually easier to farm so more or less I'll just buy one and uh, check it out later then you check out also these um, more or less it usually depends on what you need um, this one I had a you know I was not supposed to use this but I used it to buy um, SSR tickets a testimonial but again save your currency your task planet point raid dive items in which you need uh, for your ship construction consortium as well um, if you need uh, items from here um, I would suggest these uh, prime training data only um, and also for your business card um, if you have some items here that you need to buy you can buy them at this point next would be I'm going to say is your check mission so more or less you we got the notice already we got the attendance um, the attendance bonuses already so let's move on to the missions so you just have to collect um, the missions here um, uh, complete what you should collect for the day then also review what missions you can actually uh, finish so let's say for example log in seven days that that will be tomorrow enhance gear 60 times so that is actually part of your next routine check all the tasks here for the missions before you go out because actually um, this will actually give you a lot of rewards once you have selected or you have identified missions that you should finish so more or less after you've finished this part the next part um these are just uh this is actually just the banner downs uh down there and more or less you don't have any more um things to consider here this is just your profile this is just a shortcut to your consortium and once you're done collecting inspecting and more or less um checking out your missions you have to go to the normal grind of operations so operations is actually um, uh, your mainstream um, your main story here so you have mainstream supply operations simulation side story counter case free contract and the current event which is crossroads in operations actually you just have to prioritize um, two things when you enter so first would be your simulation because these are where you get the biggest haul of your materials or items that you need so you just have to finish this these are mostly um, two per day and try to clear up to the last level if you can so clear this out first when you enter operations once you're once you're done when clearing these two one two three um, then you can actually buy simulation tickets I would suggest you do this to exhaust uh, to exhaust all of your max this out because this is actually worth buying so you purchase this then you go back there so once you finish this you have five tickets wherein you could use so which which of the three you I, I'd say you use it you use it here because these will allow you to grow um, and farm for items that will grow your the skills of your units or your heroes so 
or your characters. So more or less, this is the priority in terms of um, simulation, the middle part, special defense training. Next would be your, I would suggest would be your side story because you will be farming hero shards for Orca, which is here. So Orca is actually an SSR that you can farm. So I have to farm her later. Next would be on your uh, John Mason. So you have two here that you can farm. Another SSR, which is Jane Doe, and another SSR, which is John Mason. So don't forget to do this daily because these are important. The rest, actually, you can, you can go through, but these are the priority before you go to the other things that you could farm. So as you go through the priority in orientation, which is simulation and side story, where you farm SSR, and here when you get uh, training data, so more or less, these are the things that you should prioritize. Next would be thinking. Um, most of these missions actually require Eternium. So try to prioritize your Eternium depending on your need. So I'll go through um, I'll go through a couple of stages where you can farm depending on your need. So let's go to supply operation, investigation activities. 1-3 so if you need counter ATP core you actually farm this stage this one and if you need actually um, uh, go here to covert ops if you need these materials the, the the info you actually farm this stage or this stage when you've used when you've uh, when you've cleared it already in the mainstream so more or less resource info you'll be used uh, you'll be using in um your dive you'll be using this uh, th this actually has a lot of uses your dive your you're going to use this also in your counter case so again uh you could farm these here next uh priority would be free contract which is actually task 3 Task 3 dash 3, which is idols in counter side. So this is actually good um, a good event to farm if you have nothing to farm already. Because this gives you gear. This gives you T4 weapons and uh, yeah, weapons and gear as well, armor, accessory. This also gives you um, T5 mold. And this also gives you higher appraisal, appraisal, and advanced gear item, um, material, and also gold. And also, by the way, you could actually um, increase the, the, the level of your heroes here by gaining experience as well. So, okay. Next would be if there is a current event that is happening, um, like for example, Crossroads, I would actually suggest as well that you prioritize this uh, even before supply op or free contract because there is a currency here that you need to mine and usually I would go for the hard one and this is your main reward your crossroad gemstone will that you will be using in the shop as well which have a lot of goodies here I've actually finished a couple but I'm going for quartz actually next and probably special appraisal then um, I'm also going for the ATP cores and SATP cores as well. So also don't forget to farm for the shop. Oh, for I'm sorry, for the crossroads. Not not farm the shop unless if you have cash. So more or less event if if you if, prioritize even you know even before supply operation and covert ops. Next would be counter case. Um, Try to check if you can actually move or unlock some stages like this one. So you'll be using info here. So if you unlock a certain certain um, level, let's skip this one. You'll be getting certain rewards as well. So again, you do this uh, if you have more um, info and usually the, the best thing to farm this is on the second level which is you'll be getting a you'll be getting employment contracts 
so the rest will have to wait and don't actually don't force this part you will actually you will actually get them to to level 100 eventually and uh, you'll get all the items here in counter case so once you've finished everything aside from mainstream the last will be your mainstream if you have Eternium left again when farming operations. It's usually it would usually depend on really what you need um, You need for your ships you need for your heroes your units um, What items you need to farm you need experience you need gold um, Again, it depends on your need so Last would be again going back to your HQ um, if you've gathered all the materials, you've leveled up your heroes, then it's time to use them to, to do some upgrades for your heroes here in the lab, workshop here for your gear, hangar for your ship, and level up your units here in salary negotiation. And the last would be your gauntlet. So the gauntlet is actually your, your, your PvP, so you have your... Uh, strategy battle wherein you could form your defense squad and attack um, a set defense already on auto so the enemy here is um, is automated already uh, it's not real time so you just have to have five battles here um, you also go you basically go for the gauntlet the last part because um, normally you you will you can actually upgrade your heroes before going inside so this is the last part of your grind for your daily grind then rank battles would be your real-time pvp wherein you you will encounter um, um, real-time opponents on the other side so again your gauntlet will be vital as a last preparation or last event for the day then probably go back to this if you've generated enough currency here this currency is actually the one that you actually are generating the rewards points to buy in the shop so once this fills out once it's maxed at 600 then you have to consume this by fighting then wait for it to fill up as well this is i think refillable every five hours if i'm not mistaken so more or less that is it so <clears throat> what else um then once you're done for the day it's it's up to you if you want to farm for other items go around farm other levels farm other stages here especially in operation uh if you need other materials so more or less that is the you know the the routine that i have every day and also before you again you go to sleep you must set up your world map and also you have to set this up before you go to sleep again don't forget this one the uh, support request and also don't forget before you go to sleep you more or less set up your workshop and your crafting facility so craft as soon as you have uh, as, soon, as soon as you have um, even up to tier 3 so select here you can craft as well um, let's go for armor molds or craft max that is it so basically you're done for the day then you're ready to sleep so unless you have more eternium you actually buy eternium eternium if you run out of uh, eternium this one i would suggest you buy using your quartz so um this package is usually 50 percent off then the other one the next after this is your 75 off i think then after that you stop buying eternium because it's no useless to buy this at a full price of 100 so this is usually priced 100 but th there is a 50 percent and a 25 percent discount when you buy this is uh 50 percent times three times to buy and 25 percent times three times to buy so you just use it up to that so again this game is basically a grind and more or less um, if you want to to progress more you have to diligently um, level up your heroes grind the game day in and day out and more or less um, try to finish as much as possible and go through 
go through more or less a lot of um, a lot of content uh, and also you go through the content by unlocking mainstream uh, you have here normal and hard uh, because some of the content here won't be unlocked for for operations if you haven't done it done or or or, or played mainstream yet so anyway guys um that is it for me more or less uh, if you have any comments on this guide on my routine please put them down in the comment section below for those who have gone this far please consider subscribing and for those who haven't uh, subscribed yet around 79 percent of my viewers haven't subscribed and if you subscribe it would mean much to my channel and to me also don't forget to like and hit that bell icon when you subscribe okay guys um this is it so take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here